Ciao Peppe, mi raccomando, bocca al lupo, comportate bene e fai un bel lavoro. Eh, ci provo, la mia prima intervista. Eh, ci proviamo, ciao mamma. Ciao tesoro. Come vai in Svizzera, amore? Eh ma come vado? Faccio così. Tutti questi anni utilizzando la macchina e sprecando soldi per la benzina quando bastava un semplice per spostarmi dappertutto. Sono appena arrivato a Wetzikon in Svizzera e sto per fare la mia prima intervista, quindi sono super emozionato, spero vada tutto bene. Sto andando a intervistare praticamente il futuro, la tecnologia e il progresso applicato alla scienza fatta a persona. È la storia di un ragazzo che ha avuto un incidente gravissimo dieci anni fa ed è rimasto paralizzato, ma è stato selezionato per partecipare a un esperimento scientifico che l'ha riportato a camminare. Cioè lui è la prima persona sulla faccia della terra nella storia dell'umanità a essere tornata a camminare dopo essersi lesionato il midollo osseo. Quindi veramente un'emozione incontrarlo. Ma non vi voglio dire altro perché sto per andare a citofonare la sua porta. Which floor, David? Ah! Here you are! Hello! <laughs> Such a pleasure, finally. Yes, how are you doing? Here's much better, eh? Much better. Today with the sun. I didn't expect sun in, no? uh, in Switzerland. It's gonna be like this for another week. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, cool. David, I'm so happy to be here because it's, I'm waiting this, this moment since, I think, six months? We are talking till... Yes, yeah, it's long, yeah? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. It's crazy because I, I just saw the news on the TV. I looked for you on Facebook and they wrote you David, is that you? And I, I sent you the, the screenshot of the news. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. I remember, I do remember. And you just told me, yeah, apparently, yeah, it seems me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I asked you, man, I have to meet you. I have to meet you because I have this project and I want you to be part of it because I'm sure that your story would inspire many people. You can say something important about happiness. Every time I say to the people, my first country of my journey around the world will be Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland, but yeah. I expected something more exotic. Yeah. And when I say your story, everyone was like, wow, you really? gave me you gave me goosebumps. Seriously, everyone. Wow. And now I'm goosebumps because <laughs> I always get emotional when I when I think about your story. But I don't want to say anything, just do a little introduction of yourself. Well yeah, my, my journey started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I was in the physical education uh, teacher uh, program. To, to become a teacher and I had this accident and um, when was it which which year 2010 2010 yes, yes. wow and that was back in 2010 and I had this accident and uh, you know it was supposed to be a really a safe thing that I was doing mm -hmm. you know there was this foam pit and I did a front flip like two three rotations I landed badly I landed soft you know mm -hmm. but somehow yeah my my six and seven vertebra Um, uh, broke and um, yeah I mean that moment there was was panic you know uh, when I realized I cannot move my arms I cannot move my legs and I panicked I yeah. really panicked it was like the ground below your feet is, is taken away so um, I, I thought I would die if I stay in this panic so I had to decide whether I continue or I don't, and I decided, well, let me get out of this. I started breathing and yeah. focusing and calming down, and uh, yeah, that was how the accident happened. When you remember, you remember it with uh, pain, or it's... Uh... No, not, not, not really, not really. Um, even if I watch the video of the accident... Um, oh, you have it? I have it, yes, and it's like, I can watch it, you know, and I started watching it quite soon to, to get used to it, you know, okay. and uh, to face the new situation. Um, I mean, yeah, especially the first two years, I'd say, they were really hard and for me the special thing is, and I realized it after, after two or three years, um, a big part of the, of getting used to the situation happened in the moment when I had my accident. When I started breathing, when I concentrated on what I've learned in my martial arts practice, um, i let go a lot of of, uh, of what I had to let go of, of my old life and that was really special because when I tell this to people it's hard to believe even for myself it's hard to believe yeah. you know when 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 they realize and people who knew me they knew that I was to become a sports teacher yeah. so moving was important to me you know um, 
I was doing martial arts, I was to become a trainer there, so that was important to me as well. So when this accident happened, people knew that would be over, in, in, yeah, at least in that manner. So I thought it could be really, really tough for me, and it was, but in the end I realized maybe half of what I had to get used to, I did in the moment when I had the accident, or in the moments right after. It's like immediately you accepted another life. You were, you understood you were obliged to accept another life, so you let it go and yeah, you... it looks like at least half. Yeah. I would say, you know, then when you really start realizing, well, it's not only my legs that I cannot move, but I cannot properly use my fingers. Um, yeah, and then other things like going to the toilet is different, putting on your clothes takes long, mm -hmm. taking a shower is... It's a struggle, so uh, you know you start realizing a lot more. So you know there's a lot of stuff that you don't think about in the first moment. But I think what I thought about in the first moment, I yeah, I kind of accepted it at least for the moment. But then, after 10 years, everything changed. Well, yeah, actually the journey really started with Lausanne, where I did the study with Pro Professor Courtin. Um, that was still during rehab, so 2011. There was this. Uh, yeah, the boss of the clinic, he entered the room. It's like, uh, well, I, I know you're re really interested in science. He knew I was studying human movement sciences and sports, plus to become a sports teacher. He was in contact with this uh, director of the clinic. And okay. this guy, a new person comes with a report and tell him, well, there's a young guy, he's very sportive. Injury is about what you need. You know, it was really tight criteria. So I was lucky enough to be part of the project. That's how I got in contact with, with uh, the professor and then he called me in 2016 he's like oh we're ready now it's like okay I'm playing the European Championship wheelchair rugby no, I'm wow. not ready I'm not ready it's like yeah but like you to be number one I'm like yeah no chance I cannot let down my team he's like okay we'll figure it out so there was another guy who was the first so patient you, wait 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 <laughs> you said no to an experiment that could have changed your life because you had the championship for wheelchair rugby yes. wow yes. <laughs> you love your 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 team Oh yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I mean, it's a team sport, you know, if one guy is not there suddenly, um, that's not okay. So I started in 16. Okay. I had the big success uh, in the beginning of 2017. Uh, now there are, there are more patients. I think there should be eight in the end. And um, so after that, they will probably look for uh, newly injured people to see if they have more success, even if they start earlier. You're in the history. Of the of the human science, you are part of it. Yeah, I'm not in like any. Amazing. I'm not in any in any book of science, so <laughs> you are part of it. Yeah, for sure. yeah. I sometimes feel it. You know, when people who are studying, um, yeah, human movement science, for example, they're like, oh, we, we covered you in our lecture. It's like, well, wow. yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's something. It's something. You know, for me, it's uh, you know, I was in it and. Uh, if you look at it from outside, it's, uh, it's special at least, yes. You know, I hear many people talking about happiness and they, it's, their goal, it's their goal in life. And a uh, long time I, I, I agreed with that. And then um, I started realizing, you know, happiness is not something that can bring you through hard times. Because sometimes life's really fucked up. And it's terrible and hard and... Uh, I mean, it has to be. We're going to die. So, life is limited. You will die friends of you will die, your family will die. There's a lot of other stuff that can make life hard, like accidents, cancer, whatever, you see. So um, happiness will not carry you through that time because you will just not be happy. So you'll need something else to, to bring you through life. And I think that's more something like meaning. And if you've got meaningful things in your life that you, that you really want to do and that give you meaning, that's something that will also help you in bad times. So for me, happiness is more like a byproduct of that. So I, I think it's not something you should strive for, you know. It's like these people saying you shouldn't. Uh, it's like happiness is like this butterfly. Mm -hmm. If you try to chase it, it will it will fly away. But if you're there and you do what you need to do, it might land on your on your shoulder. So I really like that picture, and I think uh, there is some truth in that. I love it. I never heard this uh, yeah. this, this uh, sentence. It's beautiful. Yeah. If you don't think about happiness, but you just behave yes. in a way to attract happiness, it will arrive. Let's say yeah. the butterfly will uh, will stay on your on your shoulder. Yes, I yes. love it. It's really uh, personality dependent. So you know there are some personality traits that make you more prone to feel happy or not. 
and there are some advantages and disadvantages. So even that that shows me that even nature is uh, is not made people to constantly feel happy. Because if you're happy all the time, it's like yeah, okay. You cannot understand what is not. That's one yeah. thing. And the other thing is, what will you do if you're happy? What will you try to achieve? Will you go through a study as I did? I mean, mm. you, you need some drive, and I think happiness is not really driving you. It's a nice feeling, and it might be driving you by wanting to achieving it. But other than that, I think, uh, yeah, happiness is a, a really nice, a really nice byproduct. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for all you 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 gave me today because it's uh, it's the first interview, but it's uh, it's touchy, it's uh, it's really deep, and it can really guide me through the other interviews. So so thank you very much. I'm glad thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> And now, though, if you are ready, I would like to see some magic happen. <laughs> yeah, are you ready? The magic started. Let's do it. Well, with this machine, I turn on the simulation. I'm connecting to the IPG, internal task generator. Now it's on. You see the muscles twitching. Now it's off. So once I'm standing, you switch it on. All right? I will switch it on. You'll switch it on. The calves are cheering for you. <laughs> Come on, right. David. Cool. All right, you turn it on. You need to come here. Okay. So should you do like that? Yes. Vi è mai capitato di assistere a qualcosa che vi sembra più grande di voi? Beh, oggi mi sono sentito come davanti a un miracolo. Ho conosciuto un ragazzo della mia età con grandi sogni proprio come me, ma al quale la vita all'improvviso gli ha riservato una sfida inaspettata. Lui non solo l'ha accettata, ma è riuscito a esaudire tutti quei sogni che l'incidente aveva spazzato via per un momento. Ho conosciuto un atleta a cui i dottori avevano detto che non sarebbe più stato in grado di camminare. Ed eccolo qui davanti a me mentre fa un passo dopo l'altro verso il futuro. Non è però questo il miracolo al quale ho assistito oggi, ma l'insegnamento che David mi ha regalato con la sua storia. La vita può essere dura quando meno ce l'aspettiamo. E la felicità non deve essere l'obiettivo finale, ma la costante motivazione che ci spinge a desiderare una vita significativa. Ciao Lui! Ciao ciao! Thank you very much! Happy birthday by the way! Oh. Thank you! Ciao ciao!